All right, the next thing we're gonna do is some basic array stuff, okay? So let's say that we have um, an array. Let's make an array, an array of days, for example. And this thing will be Monday, I shouldn't have deleted it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, let's say that we wanna do something with this array. For example, we want to add a number to the array, uh, to every item. For example, we wanna do this zero, one, like this. Or we wanna put a smiley face, for example, like this one, in all the days, okay? I mean, again, what I'm saying here is, this thing doesn't look like it's gonna be useful, but in React, it does, okay? So what, what if we wanna do this into the array? The real world application of this would be something like if you get a array from an API or if you have an array of data and then you wanna make an array of components with that data, for example, okay? So let's do that. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna say smiling days. And what this is going to be is going to be an array function. So I'm going to say days and days is an array. Right? And an array has many methods, as you can see here. There are many of them. The one we're going to use now is map. All right? And map is a method that executes, check this out, executes a function in, in every one of the items of the array and then makes another array with the result of that function. So let's do it again. If I do days.map, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna execute a function inside, or not inside, with every day on the days array. And then I'm gonna save that value that I returned from that function and I'm gonna make a new array with it. So this will be the function here. We can put the function here and this function could be anonymous. You can make it here if you want. For example, here, const add smiley, if you wanted to, but we can do it here, okay? And what days that map gives us is a variable that could be named potato, all right? And let's just console log potato real quick. Okay, and what potato will be, it will be Monday and then Tuesday and then Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday, okay? Potato will take the value of each one of the items of the array. All right, so let's do, save this, fuck, 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 fuck. Here, save this, refresh, and let's look at the console. And look at that, potato is Monday, and then in the next cycle, potato is Tuesday, on the next cycle, Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then Friday, all right? Awesome. Like I said, like I said, what days that map will do is that it will give you an array, okay, with the return value of that function that we give it. In this case, there is no array, I think. Console log smiling days. Yeah, smiling days is undefined, 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 undefined. As you can see, we have five days here, all right? And smiling days is going to execute this function and it's going to create an array with the return value of each of these functions. The return value of this function is undefined and that's why we have an array of undefined. But what if instead of returning console log, we can return a string that adds a smiley face plus potato. Now, as you can see here, smiling days is equals to an array of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but with the smiley face. All right, and this is exactly because of that, because we are returning this value. Remember that uh, arrow functions have uh, implicit return value, so don't forget that, okay? If you want it to have a normal function, you will have to do something like this and then do return here, all right? In our case, we don't want that. Awesome, now of course you can change this and you can make it into um, day is better, days, day, all right? Now this could be translated if you wanted to do it somewhere else here.
and this returns the same thing. All right, it shouldn't be different. It should be the same. But instead of doing this, all we have to do is this. Yeah. And it works the same thing. So days that map is going to call at smile with the argument day. This means each item. Then again, this could mean potato. It's the same fucking thing. Okay. Wonderful. Now, what do we want to do? Instead of the smiley face, we want to do the number. Like one, two, three, four, five, for example. Now, map not only gives you one argument. Let me take this back. Map not only gives you one argument, it gives you many different arguments, but the other one that it gives you is the index. Okay? And they, the first argument is going to be each value, and the second argument is going to be the number that you are on. So instead of doing this, what we can do is say, number, for example, here, mo, number and index. And what this will do is that it will give you the number of the, the current item that you're working with. So for example, for the first one, it will give you, let's see, refresh. For the first one, it will be one, two, three, four, five. Look at that, zero, one, two, three, four. Awesome, all right? Now, I don't like that, so I'm gonna do plus one. And now we have one, two, three, four, five. This is how you can format your data, okay? And this is all because of the map function. Like I said, the map function returns an array of the return values of the function you give it. If you don't return anything, you're not gonna have any array whatsoever, all right? Cool. Now, if we translate this to another function, it will be just here. and it will still work, all right? Awesome, that's it for the array.map. See you on the next one, bye-bye.